was a man that was rapidly walking towards the center. I thought he was going to kneel to say a prayer in front of the uh, St. Joseph statue, but he quickly came up the stairs taking a big knife out of his side. A Montreal priest was stabbed Friday morning as he said mass here at the St. Joseph Oratory. This comes a week after the New Zealand mosque massacre and raises a question. Are we safe in places of worship? Father Claude Groux was assaulted in front of 50 worshippers celebrating mass at the historic oratory. It's a national shrine on Mont Royal's Westmount Summit in Montreal and Canada's largest church. Over a thousand worshippers can attend mass at the same time inside the basilica. Friday worshippers got quite the scare. A warning to our viewers, the following images are graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. A man dressed in dark clothing and wearing a white baseball cap is seen walking towards the altar, knocking a candle on his way and seems to strike Father Gru's body twice. The priest collapsed to the ground but appears to be conscious. Several people rushed to help. The attack was streamed online and broadcasted by Salt and Light Network. Father Gru was transported to hospital and police do not fear for his life. Montreal police say a 911 call was placed around 8.40 a.m. When they arrived on the scene, the suspect, a man in his 30s, was already detained by security guards. There was never a danger for the life of the priest. He was likely injured by a sharp object to the upper body. The suspect's motives are unknown so far. Police cornered off an area of the oratory as the investigation continues, but the rest of the building remains open to the public, with masses being celebrated. No need to close it. The, the, the premises are well uh, taken care of, there's security, and it is a, a place of openness and a place of prayer. So if anything happens to one of the, uh, the fathers, people will want to gather and pray for him. The Diocese of Montreal released this statement from the Archbishop Christian Lépine. Father Grou sustained injuries, but by the grace of God, his life is not in danger. We're all shocked by this act of violence that has taken place in our city in a space dedicated to peace. We know that places of worship of many religions are targets of acts of violence. We must continue to follow the path of peace and love, believing that good will overcome evil through prayer and good works. I encourage all the faithful to continue celebrating their faith as a community in their churches. As many question the safety of places of worship, religious leaders and Montrealers of all faiths gathered at a local mosque in Ville Saint Laurent, forming a circle of peace, offering love and support after the deadly shooting in New Zealand and to Father Gru. Uh, I think it's very symbolic. It's very important to uh, show that solidarity, and uh, it gives us that assurance that Muslim community is not alone. We're uh, all of us in this together as a community, so as one big human family. Moussa Alam says a powerful message is being sent to the world, one of unity and support. In Montreal, Emile Lemieux, City News.